Great to see you, Keenan. How are you? Oh, great to see you, buddy. Look at look at that hair. I'm going right after it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last day before the haircut, but you enjoy it. I'm glad. I, I'm glad I caught it. Uh, I, you know, I need uh, this sort of positive feedback to keep my flowing locks flowing. So uh, yeah, I mean, you. are you even after you know when you after quarantine? Hopefully, it will be over and stuff like that. Are you gonna ever like get back to growing it out? Are you feeling like a different? I don't dude? know because we're never more than like two weeks off right. when we're actually in in the regular studio. So this might be the the last hurrah. But it's been a good. Been a good fun hurrah. I, I wanted it to be like your next book cover almost. <laughs> well, I did, you, you know, I haven't written a book, but I should take some uh, jacket covers now. <laughs> well, your first book cover, that should, that should be some jacket photo for sure. <laughs> it's looking good. <laughs> how, are, uh, how are your kids? I know they're six and two. How have they been hanging in? Oh, they've been good. I, they're, you know, they're, my big girl's like old enough to kind of know what's going on, but you know, not old enough to be missing anything necessarily. Like she still yeah. runs into a couple kids here and there, you know, friends and family and stuff like that. So your uh, your six year old, uh, the people she did get to see were highlights for her because you are now a guest judge on America's Got Talent, and yeah. uh, and Georgia Georgia's a fan, correct? She is a ginormous fan. I mean, she watches it every day. She knows all the contestants' first and last names and their stories. You know what I mean? It's like her first real dive into something that's hers. You know what I mean? And she watches Britain's Got Talent. I mean, she's going deep with it. That's great. How have you enjoyed it? I know you're filling in for Simon Cowell. Yeah, everybody was really warm and welcoming, and the, the acts were great. It was a little hard to watch people kind of get sent home or whatever, but... Sure, of course. Georgia had a dream come true, and that, that was good enough for me. You know, she got to wave to everybody and say what's up to Terry <laughs> Crews, you know, and, and Terry Crews, it's... Oh, he's, he's got some real sharp radar on the color scheme with those suits. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, that a, absolutely. That was a nice pumpkin spice, silky, mmm. <laughs> for fall, getting everybody ready for fall. That was a good one. So I have to ask, the last time you were on the show, you were getting ready for the Eddie Murphy hosted Christmas SNL. And I yeah. well, should apologize to my viewers because every single person who has been on the show since then, I've asked about it, but... I am so jealous uh, that I didn't get to be there. Just watching it at home was such a yeah, joy. What was you? it like? What? Where were you? I was just, uh, I don't know where I was. I guess I should have come, but uh, it was so much fun you to watch. You guys were on watch. holiday already. We were probably on holiday already, yeah. On holiday. As I we were, uh, keep it as I like to say. Yes, on, on holiday. holiday. <laughs> <laughs> How was the week? Oh, um, my, it so surreal honestly like you're you're looking at a guy especially for me who's just been bigger than life for my entire existence you know what i mean and now he's sitting in front of me he's looking me in my eye calling me by my name we're conversating we go to like the host dinner and all of that and just very intimate all of a sudden with like one of your greatest greatest heroes you know and it was incredible six days of that you know and he just got more and more comfortable with everybody and more open and cracking jokes and by the time we were doing like thursday promos with lizzo he was just like all into it you know what I mean? having a great time and laughing and like lizzo made him laugh in the promo and that's the one that they used and it just looked like everybody's energy was towards him in a positive way wanting him to have a great show it was amazing the thing that i realized as well from uh watching that episode is you realize he is joy he's just joy incarnate as a sketch performer and even you know in the sketch where he made a bad cake he still presented <laughs> it as yeah. joyful like he was smiling through everything and i realized like you guys you and he have the same dna as performers like you're very positive joyous um it's contagious the way you perform and i can't believe i'm saying this keenan but you are now coming into your 18th season is that crazy SNL. Isn't it's that crazy. crazy? Well, I one mean, reason it's crazy is you look the same. So that's <laughs> one part that makes it crazy for I all of us. There's a beard going. There's a beard <laughs> here. You see it. Um, well, I mean, you know, if anything, I definitely took that from him. You know what I'm saying? Just because I, he was the first person to show me what it was like to just present joy in every performance, basically. Like, all he ever was going after was a joyous reaction from people. He's really entertaining, like for real, for real. 
And yeah, I always, you know, just migrated towards that kind of thing because it makes me feel good in the process. Yeah. Does it get, I mean, at what point in that 18 years did you start feeling as the fall was rolling around? And again, this is a unique fall we're rolling into, but you know, I remember having anxiety and anxiety and anxiety until about season six or seven when I thought, okay, I think I'm, I at least know enough uh, of the ropes here to feel somewhat comfortable. When did that start for you? Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like it got comfortable like right around when I started to land a sketch that was my own idea, like kind of yeah. after Scared Straight and I really started being able to build connections with writers for real, as opposed to just like a writer giving me something and being able to like really build something from scratch. And then I was like, oh, now I have a different kind of relationship with the show. You know what I mean? As opposed to like cast writer separation or anything like that, I felt more intertwined with the entire process finally, you know? And then I also just never felt like I was alone in building the show. There's so many people like, just watching the stress that you would go through, you know, and like you were one of the most, it looked like it would come easy to you type of writers I had ever seen, you know, between like you and Tina, like it looked like you could just flush out sketches. You, Tina and Joe, like, it, like you almost like crap them out, like it's nothing. But to also watch how on edge and on your toes you were all week, you know what I mean? Just like taught me like, oh, this is a continuous type of process. So yeah, I still feel it coming around like I feel you know September creeping up and October creeping up and it's like yeah you should be prepared I need to go in there with like a couple pitches because every time I come in after the summer lately and I pitch to Tucker I've been thinking like a whole summer's worth of ideas and I pitch him like six and he likes like half of one <laughs> what about like, uh, I know you got a podcast now as well uh, it must be nice because again we know you so much as a uh, you know somebody who's a great character uh, mm -hmm. performer uh, or impressions is it fun to just get to be Keenan oh it's great I, it's, it's so much I can just relax and be myself and not have any kind of expectation on what's supposed to happen like comedy we're supposed to be going for some kind of laugh if we're going to be wasting people's time with noise and words right you know what I mean like we're supposed to be like setting up and punchlining but with the podcast it's like we're just having a conversation and it's the first time I think people can, you know, get a real sense of me outside of an eight minute talk show segment or something. Uh, well, that's great, buddy. I really uh, hope you guys figure out uh, some version of the show. Uh, we all will be looking forward to a SNL season premiere in any oh, form that it comes in. It's I'm, very excited. I'm yeah. very excited to hear that. It's always great to see you, buddy. You too, buddy. You enjoy. Right, please you. send me a lock of that hair, please. <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs>